Fear is not a word in Tracy Tudor's vocabulary, as you can see every week on Million Dollar Listing LA. Between battling the boys for the best listings to getting the best price for her buyers, she is a force to be reckoned with. Take a look. You have to understand the house. I think that's something that we have to really get into before we decide. I don't want to go down the same road. Did you see how nervous she just got when I said we're going to have to, like, review this? I'm not that nervous. OK, no? Let me assure you. OK, go ahead. <laughs> I'm good. I can see that he's testing me, but I'm not intimidated by him. I speak his language. And Tracy is here with us now. Welcome, Tracy. Good to see you. Hi, how are you guys? It's been great. So listen, um, between selling million dollar homes, you had time to write a book that is number one on Amazon, a Wall Street Journal bestseller. It's called Fear is Just a Four Letter Word. Tell us all about it, why you wanted to write it. I decided to write it because I had a platform on million dollar listing being the only female uh, cast member on the show. And I just thought to myself, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years. Uh, I'm successful in my own right prior to um, being on the show. And I just wanted to share that with women. And so I decided to write the book. And it really is just a book um, of tips for how to get some confidence and be able to own any room that you walk into. Yeah. So you say there are five things that you should find out about someone before you're in a room with them. What are those five things? We have to know this. Well, I always say you need to kind of do your diligence on somebody before you walk into a room with them. And that means like figuring out who they are, make sure that you know as much as you possibly can before you walk into the room. And then once you're in the room, you gotta listen. And yeah. they'll more often than not deliver to you the information that you need to be able to win them over and make that connection. How big a part is intuition in commanding a room, you think? Well, first of all, I think women um, have, we have that gift, right? And it's what separates us because I don't think men utilize their intuition enough. And, and we don't either. And, and I think it's something that we need to make more of a practice of. And it's an exercise in channeling what that is and applying it in business. Have you always been this confident, do you think? Or is it something you worked on? My, my dad and mom would say, yes, she came out of the womb this way. But no, I mean, I think... I think when I was in my 20s, I was a little bit lost and I was looking for, you know, the answers on, on how to feel. I knew I had it in me, but I wasn't bringing it into every room that I was in. And so, you know, that's something that I wanted to deliver to young women today. But the confidence piece and the intuition piece we're born with. We just have to utilize it more. Yeah, who wasn't lost in their 20s, right? I'm so right. lost in my 20s. Um, so your daughters threw you an epic book launch party. How special is that that they got involved and did that? I mean, I was so, so surprised. I did not think we were doing anything. Yeah. And I just walked in and they had done this big balloon that said author. And there was, you know, I was so, so surprised. It was the sweetest thing I started bawling. Yeah, I would too, for sure. <laughs> As a mom of two girls, what is, you know, what do you try to instill in them from an early age? What do you think is the most important? I operate by example. And, you know, we're not perfect. We don't are, we don't fall under the traditional category of, you know, a couple that stayed together and had two kids and that's okay. And I want my kids to know that that's okay. So we just live our truth and I'm constantly communicating with them about, what I'm doing and, and who I am. And so they're proud of me. And in turn, I hope that they go out and live their truth. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Well, I, we got to talk about real estate. Okay. Um, so I know that you recently sold your home. I did. Is it harder to sell your own home because you're so connected to it? It was difficult. I, I raised my family there. I My girls were born in that house. So I had my business partner manage most of it for me. And I would dare to say the agent on the other side of the deal was like, is Tracy going to make it through today? Like, <laughs> <laughs> how is the pandemic affecting real estate in California? Um, it's a little all over the place. You know, overall, we're still not seeing, you know, the big stuff move as quickly as we would like. So we're doing the best that we can. Yeah, yeah. Give us a little preview of what we can expect for the rest of the season. We've got some fun ones coming up. Like, I, I'm definitely going to do something with Josh Altman this season, which is always fun. But yeah. more importantly, the houses on this season and the, some of the listings that we're, we're taking on are, are amazing. It really is like real estate porn at its finest this season. Yeah, it's my favorite. I love it. I those. know. You can catch Tracy on Million Dollar Listing LA every Tuesday at 9 p.m. And you can get her new book, 
Fear is just a four letter word at Amazon and everywhere books are sold. And you can check out her social media and website for all that she's doing. Tracy, thanks again. Thank you.